I don't have the numbers, but I think you went six of six at the line down the stretch. Finally made our free throws. Free throws won us the game tonight. Couldn't um, they played great defense? Give uh, Jimmy a lot of credit. Um, and those kids played really hard and tough. And that's an in-state rivalry game, and that's what I expected. I tell our Philly kids it's a big five game. And it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be ugly, and it's going to be close. Just get used to it. And um, we knew it, and uh, they did a great job. But um, Donovan Jack, Gino Thorpe down the stretch there, they, they were huge because we needed every point. Coach, you talk a lot about winning plays. It seemed like Gino made a lot of those tonight, a lot of offensive rebounds that probably don't pop out on the stat sheet. What does that do for your team when, when you make the small Yeah, every time I start that kid, he does something positive, Akron, and then today he, he was jacked up. He did a lot of good things, a lot of um, extra effort plays, winning plays, culture plays um, to help his team win. And, you know, when our top two scorers are struggling a little bit, it's really refreshing to know that we can go to different guys and they can st step up and make plays and help our team be successful. Coach, new turnover for Stephen, uh, 37 minutes, I think, tonight. Um, talk about how he's matured as a player, even in just the first 10 games of the season. Man, he, he's, he's playing really good basketball. I mean, he only took two shots at Marshall. And um, I, I think he's one of those kids of whatever you need. If you need him to step up, make shots, he's going to do that for you, or take shots. Um, if you need him to just run the show and, and, and just be, you know, set the table for everybody, he'll do that too. Um, the thing that I'm, that's encouraging for us is zero turns, but his defense is getting better. His defense is getting a lot better. He had four rebounds. He had five last game. So he, he's starting to understand how important um, a lot of these statistics are. Coach, you had... Uh, three guys against Marshall had 17 points. He had four guys double digits again tonight. What does that say about the way this team can score, even if DJ isn't at his best? Yeah, again, it's encouraging. Um, you know, we can't, we rely on DJ every game, and, and for once we picked him up. And I know he's appreciative of his teammates, but for you know, for Shep and and Donovan Jack, I just for whatever reason Donovan Jack's been playing really well in practice. It's a shame he. Um, got into some foul trouble, but his go-to moves and catch-ins and going up strong and making his free throws, just critical, critical. So I was pleased with our fives. I thought Jordan gave us great minutes, played 19 minutes, had a couple big blocks, um, caught and dunked one time. He did a really – he's coming. He's coming. So I think our fives did a great job tonight. Coach, uh, what's going through your mind when you see Chef Garner taking those three-pointers from as deep as he does? I think it's good. Get back on defense and let's go. Coach, you talked about this year about how you guys have eight starters, you think, on the team with uh, 35 points from the bench. What do you think of your bench performance? Uh, our bench out outscored their bench barely, but they did. I, I thought our bench was, was huge in, in this uh, victory. Uh, Geno Thorpe, obviously, Donovan Jack. I thought Peyton Banks gave us great minutes. i gotta get, I got to find him more minutes. He's doing everything I'm asking him to do. Um, so our, our bench, like, like I said, you just said it, eight starters. Um, th they were the key tonight. Ball screen defense seemed okay in the first half, maybe not so much the second half. Too. Was there anything they adjusted? No, I just think 35 is really quick. Got downhill really fast. And um, the one thing is they shoot threes. They make 11 threes. If you're going to tell me we were going to hold them to four threes, I would say, what are we, probably one by 10 or 12. You know? Um, but they took what the defense gave them. They took some twos. They got it to their fives. And when we were dialed in and locked in, uh, we got a couple blocks. Uh, at the end there, we switched everything. We did exactly what we wanted to do. So uh, when it counted most, we got those stops. But ball screen defense is always going to be something that we work on every single day. And uh, when you shoot threes as good as Duquesne, it really challenges your, your five guys that are out there, especially the two guys that are in it. Coach, you turned the ball over a lot tonight, and then you also forced a lot of turnovers. Can you kind of assess that, you know, back and forth as it unfolded during the game? Th this is what I'm pleased with. I'm glad you asked. So you had eight turnovers, and they were just – give that Duquesne credit. They definitely forced over – forced some. And then there was some just lazy, lack of days goal, lack of focus. Um, we had eight in the first half. We had three in the second half. I think that was the big difference. We really took care of the basketball. This is something last week, I think, to the effect of, you know, all these close games, it's like they're trying to kill you or something. Um, what does that mean, you know, for, for these guys to get the confidence from these close wins and be able to pull it out? Look, for three years, we haven't won the close games. We won a few last year. I think we learned how to win them. And, and now we're, we're, we're 
taking uh, the experience from last year and we're utilizing it this year. And I think that's why you're seeing us come out on top, really executing well down the stretch. Um, even though we didn't score um, BT, it was a good shot. Um, you know, we, we did some good things against the zone. Defensively, we're doing our job. Um, so we're, we're doing some good things. Um, I think that's why you see nine wins as opposed to five and four. Coach, could you just explain the last play there, you know, your defense and, and you know, how you came out on them? Yeah, you, you know, tough, tough to guard. Again, they have a lot of shooters, and it's a two-point game. So we, we just went to a switching defense and – you know, hopefully everybody's in their gaps and everybody understands personnel and everybody understands who's going to take the shot. And we talked early and we talked often. Every, everybody had high hands and it, it made for a very difficult shot for Mason, um, who's a very, very good player. Um, so, you, you know, we dodged a bullet, but th that's what you expect when you play a team from Pittsburgh. Um, so it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Um past few years, you've had games where, <laughs> where Tim or DJ maybe haven't gotten the points that you needed them to, and the guys have stepped up, but maybe not seamlessly. And it seems like this group is getting more comfortable transitioning to understanding that maybe DJ is not having a good half. Now we need to do this, and maybe there's a, it's more seamless between the two kinds of evenings. Do you feel that way? I, I do, and I think... DJ needs to be comfortable with it. You know what I mean? Just share the basketball, continue to share, take those open, uncontested shots. Uh, he'll take a few contested ones because he's that good and he can make them. Um, but I think he, I think everybody understands their role, their jobs. Um, and, and, you know, we talk about it in huddles. You know, guys got to step up. Guys got to play a little bit more aggressive on how the defense is defending DJ and Brandon Taylor. So we, we tried to take what the defense gave. I mean, that zone was very good. Uh, they're too, they're was very active, and they forced us into some tough shots. But for the most part, I think you're right. I think guys are starting to understand, you know, um, when to take shots and, and when to try to get the foul line, and when's a, a good three to take. And these, in a lot of these games, uh, the other team will make a run after you do early in the second half and get out to one of those bigger leads. Have you seen anything that's been consistent or maybe a little tie for making that run that allows the other team back in? And also, have, what have you seen consistently in the last few minutes of these games that allowed you to win each one of them? Wow. How many questions was that? Is that three? <laughs> yeah, three. Right. I thought it was one per, per person. Um, repeat the question. Uh, the first part, you make runs a lot. And I got you, I got you. I, I, I'm kidding. Um, look, I, I don't want that to be the case. You know, I want to play 40 minutes of Penn State basketball. I want a consistent effort. Uh, I mean, we're striving for greatness. That's why I said last week, we're only there's a better team within this team. We just haven't seen it yet. And, and I need to bring it out. It's my job to bring it out. I mean, the, I wouldn't say we're tired because of that run. I think we have to learn how to manage that run and then... Have a, have a killer instinct of we're up 10, it's time to get a stop and then go score or get to the free throw line or get an uncontested shot. We went up 10 and they scored out of a timeout. So it was right back to eight. So you, you can't, you, once you have somebody down, you got to bury them. And, and we're, we're just not there yet with that. That's what I'm talking about. That's the team that I'm waiting to see. And, and we haven't done it for three and a half years now. So we're winning, that's a good thing. But now we got to learn how to be dominant and, and put teams away. One more. Nine and one and rolling, obviously the finals week next week for the guys. What what changes in your preparation and still trying to keep that killer mentality, but still emphasizing classroom comes first. Though, yeah, I, I think that's what you saw a little bit today. A lot of guys had academics. A lot of guys have presentations tomorrow. There's a lot of academics going on this week, and you you could see it in some of our play. The the, the stress level for those kids and it's difficult. And we got GW, who's a really good team in my my mind, top 25 team has a great chance to win the A10 this year. So we got a battle on our hands on Sunday. But then, you know, we'll, we'll back off Monday, Tuesday and make sure our academics are in order. Probably have a late practice Wednesday and get back to work Thursday, Friday to prepare, prepare for Drexel. But academics come first in this program. And, and these kids understand that. They know that. I've given guys off this week to take care of some of their academics already. Um, and that's how we'll, we'll go. We'll, that's how we're going to go or proceed moving forward as far as exam week. Thank you.